Question number 2 says give definition for each of the following terms that is parallel lines, perpendicular lines, line segment, radius of a circle and a square. And are there other terms that need to be defined first? What are they and how might you define them? So in order to define these terms which are given in this question, we first need to understand the meaning or the definition of a straight line, a ray and a point. A straight line basically is a line which extends in both the directions and it can extend up till infinity. And a ray is a part of that straight line which has got one end point but can be extended to infinity in one of the directions. A point is a position. A point has got no dimensions ideally but if we want to have a rough idea of what a point basically looks like we can just take a sharp pencil and make a dot on the paper and that gives us the rough idea of a point. Now let's get on to the terms that we have in this question. We start with parallel lines. So if the perpendicular distance between two lines is always constant that is it remains same then these are called as parallel lines. So as shown in this figure, we can see that the distance between the two parallel lines is always same. In other words, we can put it that the line which never intersect each other are called parallel lines. Now let's go on to the second term which is perpendicular lines. If the angle between two lines is equal to 90 degree, then these lines are perpendicular to each other. So we can have a figure here. We have a line segment AB which is perpendicular to CD or we can say that CD is perpendicular to AB as we see that the angle between these two line segments is 90 degrees. So it can be written that CD is perpendicular to AB or we can write AB is perpendicular to CD. The third term that we have is a line segment. So a line segment is a terminated line and it has got two endpoints. So we can have a figure. So here it is a part of a line, a terminated line wherein we see two endpoints, endpoint A and endpoint B. So this is what a line segment means. The fourth term is radius of a circle. So we can have a radius on the board. Now the distance from the center to any point on the circle is called radius of the circle. So as we can see that this is the center, center O, and any point on the circumference of the circle, let's say this point. So the distance between these two points is called as the radius. Now the last term that we have is a square. So let's have a square. Now a square is a regular quadrilateral which means that it has four equal sides and four right angles. So side PQ is equal to side QR is equal to side RS is equal to side SP. They all are of same length and all of these line segments have got right angles between them that is the measures are 90 degrees each. So this is how we define the given five terms in this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.